1917 Ford Model T Woody truck. This car will be no reserve on Bring a Trailer. We're going to give you a quick walk around of the T, show its perfections, and let's get started here. So it's black with the wood. The wood is in fairly good condition. The interior is in fairly good condition, shows okay. It'd be a great car for a parade or a winery or anything like that. Gets a lot of attention. The wood is very solid. There's some imperfections in the paint right here. The, the T sat in our museum for probably a decade, maybe a decade and a half. The static display, we since serviced it, oil change, water pump upgrade, coolant of course. Um, we replaced the ignition. It also has an alternator on it, so it is now 12 volt. We put a new battery in it. It runs and drives really well. I think it has a max speed of 40 something miles an hour. Look at the back here. This does fold down. It just has these bolts here. You spin this off, it pops down. Tail light, license plate bracket. The tires, again, are dry rotted. They do need to be replaced. You can see the running boards here. The wood is very beautiful up top. It's very pretty up here. Shows well. And up here. And then if you want to focus in, then this is the new ignition, new key, of course. We're going to show you the engine bay really fast here. Fairly clean. We did new water pump. It's actually an upgrade to this car, which is a great upgrade in my opinion. Uh, it has a pulley here. It actually does not overheat. It'd actually be really great to drive and stop and go. And the lower radiator hose was replaced. Uh, that is an upgrade with the water pump. It has a newer ignition system. It is a 12 volt. It has a generator. So that's a lot better than dealing with a 6 volt car. And that's the engine bay. We'll show, focus some of our attention here on the paint. It has forward lenses on the headlights. We'll show many photos up close of the perfections, the imperfections. So quite a nice little tee, like I said, very good for a display or used at a winery or something of the nature as like a truck. Would be great in a hotel lobby or anything like that. This is a great advertisement piece. Show everything in the gallery and we'll also show a running and driving video. So to familiarize yourself with the controls of this car, uh, you do have three pedals like you would in a modern vehicle. However, they don't work in the same sort of way that a modern one does. So from left to right, your pedals are to go forward, go in reverse, and also the brake. Um, then moving up to hand controls, your steering is obviously steering. This left handle here is spark advance, and this one here is your throttle. So up will be closed, down will be open. Uh, here you have your combination parking brake and speed adjustment. Uh, from what I understand, back here is a parking slash neutral and handbrake enabled position. In the center, you'll have a low speed position, and then here you'll have a high speed position, which also, as you can see, adjusts the pedals. Um, then over here you have two more levers. You have a mixture adjustment on the left. We typically don't touch that. The car runs fine without um, moving anything. And then this will be your choke. Uh, this closes the, well, a, a plate somewhere in the throttle. So um, when starting from cold, We'll typically hold this up until it starts to come to life and then just let it go. Um, and down here, under the mat right here, there's another silver button. This will be your electric starter because this car was converted. And there's another silver button right here, which is just the horn for fun. Um, so your magnetos, or not magnetos, but your ignition coils, whatever you may want to call them, are inside of this box. And because this car has been converted to a battery, a 12-volt battery, uh, we will be turning the key to the left 
for battery instead of magneto, which would be on the right since that's been bypassed. So over here, uh, we'll set the ignition to battery. We'll open the throttle slightly. And because we have this running, I don't believe we need any chokes. So I will just step on the starter. It should come to life. There we go. And as you can see, if I bring this down, the throttle will increase. So set it there. Put on the brake, which is the right pedal. Move the lever to the middle position. Put my foot on the other side of it. Let go of the brake and step on the forward pedal. It works almost in the opposite way that a clutch would, where you would release the pedal to engage the clutch. This you push forward to engage sort of the same kind of slippage mechanism, but in, in the opposite way. And we can also release, go to high speed, and throttle is a little too closed for it, but we go back. It's windy today. And then just to show that reverse also works, I'll hit reverse here. Go back forward. And then to shut it off, back to the middle position, and it dies. That's it.